I'm going to show you now how to enter expenses into your SAVE software. So as you know, anything that goes with a bank, if you've got your bank feed enabled, you can categorise that directly from your live bank feed. But what about things that don't go through the bank, things that are paid by petty cash, for example, or perhaps you don't want to wait until an item comes through the bank and you want to enter it into your software straight away and then match that transaction rather than categorising directly once it comes to the bank. So into your save dashboard, then you can either go into the banking tab and then you'll see here um, an option to select a new purchase, sale, receipt or a payment. But you can also use this handy quick link here. Um, so let's look at expenses first. Let's imagine that we spent £30 on fuel and we just paid for it from our cash. But of course, it still needs to be accounted for because it's still an expense of the business or the company. And um, if you're VAT registered, then there may still be VAT to reclaim. So to enter the payment, we're just going to select here, other payment. So we would choose the supplier. Now for fuel, for example, I often suggest that rather than having all of the different um, fuel stations um, listed as individual supply, you have just one supplier that's called fuel station. Um, it's obviously personal preference, but um, that obviously makes things uh, a little bit easier um, to manage. So let's set that one up because there's nothing there for the supplier already. So we're just gonna quickly add that supplier. So we're going to select now where was it paid from. So this is a cash expense like we talked about already. So we just select that it's coming from the cash account. And um, what date did we pay it? Make sure that you've changed the date to the date, especially if you're entering historical information and that it's not just defaulted to the day's date. And um, £30. And then in, in here we're going to categorise it. Um, so we would be looking for uh, motor vehicle cost. And this is assumed that we're um, VAT registered. Obviously, if you weren't, you would um, you'd be taking out the VAT amount. And you simply save that. And then that is entered into your, into your um, software. And if you use the quick access links, once you've saved your transaction, Sage will simply it lands you back to wherever you were before you started. So that would work the same if we wanted to perhaps enter, perhaps you sent a check, which obviously doesn't happen so much these days, um, but you know, you know that it's going to take a little while to come through and you want it to be um, accounted for so that you can see actual accurate information in your software. So you would do the same. And then once it comes through the feed, you would have that to, to match it to. Um, okay, so let's look at, say, for example, if you have interest um, coming in where you don't have a live bank feed. So again, so we would click the um, quick, quick um, access menu. And if we click customer receipt, once that loads, you can see you've got the option to accept a receipt from a customer. Um, but if we click here, other receipt, then we can here, we could actually put the bank interest um, accordingly, um, just by filling in all of the details and um, deciding what, categorising it accordingly to what it, what it was. So hopefully that's quite straightforward. And it's just important to remember always that you should have everything, every transaction, needs to be accounted for within your software. So if you have a, a bank feed, then that's great. That will save you a lot of time and, and cover a bulk of the transaction for you. But it's also important to remember um, other things such as cash or, you know, perhaps you paid for something um, by a different bank account that doesn't have a live bank feed and you need to enter it manually. It must all be entered into your um, software. Or, as I mentioned earlier, sometimes it's just simply that you don't want to wait until something comes through to the live bank feed. You want to show it in the account straight away. So by entering it manually, 
once the uh, transaction comes through to the life bank feed, you'll be able to simply match it. Um, but it is important to remember to match the transaction you've already entered, not to create a new one, um, just to make sure that everything's just entered once, but is entered. Thank you.